Hello and welcome to another video of Carbon Market News. We're going to talk again about how to invest in carbon. This time we're going to look at a specific company. The name of the company is Carbon Streaming Corp. So why are we talking about carbon again? So right now carbon is kind of a hot topic, carbon investing and also carbon prices. I don't know how it is where you live, but where I live, everywhere uh, we talk about climate change, about the climate. More and more companies have little signs on their ads saying that they are climate neutral or that they pledge to climate neutrality. So everyone wants to offset their emission and also the world is talking about climate change all the time. Every weather event is uh, related to climate change. My personal opinion is of no interest here. Maybe I will get to that someday, but right now the world is all about climate change and uh, the other virus. In November, we're going to have a big climate conference called COP26. There are many questions going to be answered about carbon pricing and about the strategy going forward to reach climate neutrality. This is the follow up to the Paris Agreement. And I think they have on their agenda specifically the carbon markets and how they're going to advance the carbon pricing. The politicians and the regulators and everyone is going to join together and work on some new legislation and we're going to know more after that conference but for right now we can only speculate on the price of carbon and what is going to happen but i think it's still interesting and it's still an interesting discussion so back to our company carbon streaming corp they have a very interesting business model they use a streaming model that is known from the resource sector and where they provide upfront capital to a project owner and they get a streaming benefit, a royalty of carbon credits uh, for a period of the project. I think this is a very intelligent business model, as we have seen in the resource sector, because you have no operational responsibility and you get the yield every year. And also with price appreciation, you can earn more money. So you don't have a set amount of money. You get the asset and then the price that comes with it. On the other hand, if the price goes down, then you earn less money. But I think with the politicians and with everyone aligned, I think the price of carbon is going to go up, as I've stated in previous videos. But yeah, the, the streaming model is, is intelligent because you basically don't have to touch the project. You just provide the capital and you let the other one do the, do the, do the project. And it's also nice for the project owner because they get the cash and they're working together with someone who is used to selling these things. So if we look at the share price of Carbon Streaming Corp, then it was tumultuous in the beginning. But um, we have to add that this share is only available publicly for public trading since July of 2021. So what was before was only um, private placements and private uh, prices. So this, this does not really count. And since his uh, public offering, the share price has gone up a lot, up to $4 and come back down to $2. And this is mostly because of the lack of volume. There are very few shares in a public, uh, publicly traded. And the most of them are still held privately and are still from warrants. So the price is going to pendulum swing a bit and then it's going to probably stay at some some price level like two dollars because the, the the private placement the last one was one dollar fifty so i wouldn't be shocked if if it stays at around two dollars or maybe goes up even after that i don't think the share price is very important at the moment it just gives the outlook of the valuation of the company they state on their website that they have about 400 million shares uh, issued and outstanding so this leads to our current valuation at about $800 million. $800 million for a company that does not have revenue yet. They only have cash and they have one project under the hood. Their main project at the moment is the Marvivo asset, which cost them about 6 million US dollars. And they get about 200,000 credits, 20% per year for 30 years from this project. This is blue carbon and blue carbon is what we call higher quality carbon. In the carbon markets, there is not one fixed price and one asset. There's different types of carbon credits. So not, it's not, not like a gold coin where it's more or less everywhere the same when you have a certain grade. 
is more like um, different types of, of, of carbon credits. And since we're talking mostly about the voluntary markets for these credits, you have a very broad price range from a dollar to twenty dollars at the moment, because I don't think blue carbon is yet to be allowed for uh, compliance markets. If it will be allowed, then the price will also probably go higher. I think the compliance markets, depending on where you are in California, I think it's about 18 bucks. In Europe, it's about 50 euros. So depending on where you are and depending on which compliance market you can sell them, the price is different. But they get about 200,000 credits. That's about 20% of the credits per year for themselves for the streaming agreement for 30 years. And I think in the agreement, it also says that 40% of the sales price they have give, to give back to the community and back to the project. So this totals about three, 3.6 million credits total or 120,000 credits per year. So if we sell those credits for about $2, then we break even. So if we sell them for more, then we make profit over 30 years. This is a very simplistic way of seeing it, but I think this is a very good purchase. I think you can, you, they will make their money back and they will make more than that. Because if you sell it for five or for six or for 20, then the rest is for you. So I really like that they uh, purchased this asset and I think this was a good decision. And I think they're gonna make a more good decision. So I think this is something that to note. And like I said, the price depends on the buyers and with what is projected with the carbon markets, some say it's going to be $20 a ton, maybe 50, maybe $100 a ton, at least in the EU here in Europe, they're going to push the price hard. And I think the world is going to follow this model. And if the price goes up to $50 a ton, then they earn what they paid for the project back in one year, basically. And they're working on more projects. I hope just like this one, they have potential deals in the pipeline of like over 585. So about 600 million US dollars and they have big goals. So, I mean, 20 million carbon, 20 million carbon credits by year end of 2021. I don't know how they're going to end up with this, but if they manage to do that and you know, whatever the price of that is, that's a lot of money and 50 million by 2023 and 100 million by 20, 2025. So big ambitions goals. If they manage to hit that goal or come close to it, then they're going to be cash flowing. Because like I said, the demand is high for these carbon credits, especially if they're good quality carbon credits, which they are, they seem to be interested only in good quality carbon. So what are the potential upsides and downsides of this company? Well, if the upside is $100 a ton of CO2, if you get the 100 million tons per year, then pff, I don't want to imagine. Even if you only get half, then you have a lot of a lot of potential as well. The downside for me is that it's still a marketplace with government interference, and it's still not yet clear where the where the price will go. But I think like you can count on politicians to to use this climate crisis, as they call it to push up the price of carbon because they can 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 make some money off of that of the issuance and everything else so i think they're gonna they're gonna go with this and i think this is gonna make the price rise but still you know the this is not a market like when i you and me are trading this is not a natural market it's a government regulated market and with government you can always trust them to you know maybe make mistakes or don't do it properly. So you have to be careful a bit. We will know probably a lot more after the COP26. But I think the, the, the potential is still intriguing for this company. I will put the link of the company in the description here also their data. So I want to also say that everything I took from them, this is from their site. So their property, I think it's a very interesting proposition. I personally will not state if I invest in this or not. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. And I have to also put a disclaimer here that this is not financial advice. This is just me looking at a company where I think it's potentially interesting. And I have many more companies to look at. I have researched a couple companies 
So very interesting topics coming up. So if you don't want to miss a video, then subscribe. Also, you would help the channel out if you subscribe and smash the like button. So let me know in the comment section, what are the companies you're looking at? What are the investments you're looking at when it comes to carbon? Let's start the discussion in the comment section. I am so happy to hear from you guys. This gives me also some material and let me know, please. And also don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.